Hi, this is Sylvia Koloka. Thank you for watching my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make pasta from scratch. So many times people have told me, I would love to make pasta from scratch, but I don't have a machine. Well, this recipe is for you because you only need to use your hands. And get this, it's also vegan. It's just flour and water and a pinch of salt. How easy is that? So the pasta that we're making today is two types. Gnocchetti sardi, also known as maloreddus, and pici, which is a type of Tuscan spaghetti. So I've got about two and a half cups of flour in here, and to that I'm going to add um, a little bit of water. I'm not gonna add it all at once. I'm gonna add maybe three quarters of it and start mixing it. And then if it's very dry, I'll add a little bit more. It's always better to hold back and then you can always fix it. But if you add all the water at once, then you get into a messy, soggy dough and then you have to add more flour and it becomes quite tricky. About this much for now. And I'm just gonna use a chopstick to mix it in. And it's very easy to see if it needs a bit more water, which it does. So I'm gonna add a tiny bit more. And at this point, I'll also add a pinch of salt and I'll just keep using the chopstick for now and then I'll soon swap for my fingers. Just gather your mix together and it comes together really, really easily. I'm just gonna, at this point, I am gonna pop it onto the board with a little bit of flour and I'm just gonna knead it. And I'm gonna use this part of my hand and basically I'm gonna stretch it, fold it and turn it stretch it, fold it and turn it. And this motion gives the pasta dough a beautiful texture and it becomes very smooth. And this is your dough done. Now, the very important thing now is to let it rest. It needs to relax for 20 to 30 minutes so that the gluten can relax and then it becomes really, really easy to handle and pliable. Just wrap it in plastic and forget about it for 30 minutes. So it's been about 20 minutes and the dough has rested and relaxed and it has changed in texture quite a bit. As you can see, it's really pliable and very easy to handle. It feels a little bit like Play-Doh and just like we would with Play-Doh, we're gonna be making shapes, <laughs> pasta shapes in this case. Let's start with the gnocchetti sardi or maloreddus. We're gonna cut out a bit of, of the dough, just like that, and basically just roll it into a rope, a little small thin sausage, like that. And then you get a knife and you cut this into smaller pieces. And then you get one of these, it's a little wooden board with ridges, and you roll this onto the board and you shape your gnocchi just like so. And this is how you do it. You just press it onto the board, roll it, and you've got these beautiful, beautiful ridges. And the ridges are not just there because they're pretty. They serve a very important purpose. They will trap the sauce. So if you've got a fork, you just basically do the same. You press it down and you roll it and there's your ridges right there. Okay, and these are our gnocchetti. Just gonna let them dry and then I'm gonna pair those with a vegan sauce. But for the peachy, the hand roll spaghetti, I will be making a very, very meat friendly <laughs> sauce. So stay tuned for those videos, okay? Make sure you subscribe to my channel so that you get all my recipes. So this is what I'm doing now. I'm rolling the rope very thin, as you can see. And I'm just gonna cut it, cut this one in half so that it's easier. And this is how we create the peachy.
And that's it. That's my gnocchetti sardi and peachy hand rolled and ready to go. And you can cook them fresh like this and they will only take a couple of minutes in salted boiling water. Or you can let them dry and then they will take a bit longer to cook. Um, but make sure to subscribe so you can get all my recipes because in my next videos I'll be making sauces to go with each one of these pastas so you don't want to miss out.